Hello from Singapore, this is Galinda. Today is April the 21st, day 14th of the circuit breaker period. Yesterday, the Ministry of Health confirmed um, another 1,426 cases, and today um, there had been an increase of another 1,111 cases. Um, this is the highest spike ever since um, COVID-19 uh, outbreak um, since January. That brings the total cases in Singapore um, over 9,000 cases to date. Among these cases, 20 odd um, were identified as Singaporeans or Singapore long-time pass holders and the rest are foreign workers who have been living in the dormitories. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong addressed the nation this afternoon at um, 5 p.m. and um, he has extended the circuit breaker period for another four weeks so to date, um, the end of the circuit breaker period is now um, shifted to the 1st of June. He has also announced um, some tighter measures, such as if um, anyone within the household has to go uh, grocery shopping for essential things, only one person from each household is allowed to undertake these shopping trips. The same goes for people who go out to exercise. Um, they no longer should um, go with any household members. They should undertake these exercises by themselves. In addition, shops that serve dessert or just coffee or bubble tea um, are no longer considered as essential services, so they need to be closed. That means um, my frozen yogurt in front of the hotel. Bye-bye um, to that. My family are quite concerned about me and would like me to return to Germany as, um, as soon as possible. My brother has checked with um, the Lufthansa in Germany whether there are any flights planned um, from Singapore. However, there are none. And the only way back um, to Germany would be to fly to either Bangkok or Tokyo and then get the flight from there. My food journey is taking you away from the Singaporean and Malaysian cuisine. I'm taking you to my birthplace, beautiful Vietnam. I was born in 1968, in the middle of the Vietnam War. My father was a German citizen who was working for the US Army. I was born in a tent. The tent was called 29th Evacuation Hospital in Gantar. Although I do not have any roots in Vietnam, as my mother was from Chinese heritage. However, I have developed a great passion and love for the Vietnamese cuisine. When you think about Vietnamese food, what would be the first dish that would cross your mind spontaneously? For many people, including myself, it is no doubt, pho is often thought to be shaped in the early 20th century. There are two different opinions about where pho first appeared in Vietnam. In Nam Din or in Hanoi. It was also suggested that pho is derived from the Cantonese buffalo meat soup, ngao yok tong. Another theory is that pho is derived from the French beef, pot au feu. Although there are many theories about the roots of pho, one thing is certain. Pho originates from North Vietnam. This dish migrated to Central and South of Vietnam in the mid-50s, after the defeat of France in Indochina. And Vietnam was divided into two regions, North and South. When North Vietnamese migrated to the South in 1954, they brought pho with them. 
and since then, fur began to slightly differ between the two regions. This is fur boar, the beef version of pho. The soup is made from bone beef broth. The noodle is also called ban pho noodle, ho fun or hui tiu, and topped with thinly sliced beef. This version comes is a combination version and it comes with cow stomach and beef balls and flank. It is usually served with bean sprouts, Thai basil, lime and fresh chili and other herbs on the side. Besides that, I've also ordered some fish sauce chicken wing to it. Mm. 